Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna talk about a couple of very interesting topics. The first one is gonna be about uh, Andrew Jacked, and uh, he posted this new physique update in which he looks absolutely nuts. I mean, the way this is shaping up, it seems like Andrew Jack is gonna be my favorite physique in the world. I mean, we'll see what he's gonna look like soon, in two weeks or in four weeks, but it seems like it's gonna be in two weeks at the Dubai Pro. It actually seems like Andrew Jack is gonna jump in. So, as you can see based on this photo, he's already in a pretty good condition. We can see his back, his glutes and stuff like that, but you can get a pretty good idea based on the vascularity in his arms, forearms, shoulders, even the chest looks kind of separated here, and his face. It seems like he already has that face going on. Which I would not say is very common for Andrew Jacked. I think at a Mr. Olympia last year, his face was kind of bloated. It was noticeable even before the stage, and on the stage, he was definitely not in crazy condition. He was definitely off, especially from behind. You can't really notice it that much here because he's standing next to Samson Dowd, and Samson was also kind of off at that Mr. Olympia, and also like he is not known for the best separation in the glutes and the hamstrings. But if you compare him to the other guys, Hardy was also not at his best conditioning ever, but he was still more conditioned than Andrew Jack, especially in the lower body from behind. But if you compare him to Derek Lansford or Hunter Labrada or Brandon Curry, you will see that he wasn't in the greatest condition. However, with his shape, with his structure, with his size, he still managed to crack the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia. That's how good Andrew Jack is, at least was last year, and I think this year he's gonna be even better because he got bigger. Now, we have Texas Pro in less than four weeks from now, and in two weeks, less than two weeks, we have Dubai Pro. It's on the way for Andrew Jack, and he lives in Dubai, and the prize money, it's third best, third biggest in the world. After the Mr. Olympia and the Arnold, we have Dubai Pro with over $100,000 money prize. So, it would only make sense for Andrew to do it. But now, we actually have a rumor that he is in fact gonna do it. That he's gonna jump in. Who else is in the show? Uh, I, heard, I heard some people tell me uh, Andrew Jack may be jumping there, you know? I, I think Andrew Jack will compete 100% Dubai. Hmm. Then he go Texas. Alright, so at the Menace podcast, Abdullah, who is one of the top coaches over there in the Middle East, who is connected with all the guys, I mean, I'm sure he knows that the guys who are running the Dubai show, he heard a rumor, and I think it's more than just a rumor. If he heard something, it means that Andrew Jack was speaking to somebody, there is talk about him jumping in, and if he looks like this at two weeks out, I see absolutely no reason for Andrew not to do the show. He can most certainly win this show. I mean, the only guy that can challenge him truly is Nexilla. And that's mainly because, yeah, Nexilla is such a freak. He, he's incredibly large and all that, but we don't know that. He hasn't really yet proven himself against the very top guys. And once again, Andrew Jack was fifth at a Mr. Olympia last year. And that was a lesser version of him. This year, he's much improved. And he doesn't even need to be super conditioned. I'm pretty sure Nexilla is not gonna be like peeled to the bone like, like William Bonac or something like that or Becker Stabani. And I'm pretty sure Andrew Jack can beat William Bonac, Becker Stabani, Nathan Diasha. These guys are not top five Olympians. And again, Andrew Jack is a top five Olympian when he's not in great shape. Now with the improvements that he made, and if he comes super conditioned, then he can be on higher than fifth. He can challenge somebody like Nick Walker and place inside of the top four, or I could even see him place higher than that, with his crazy shape and size, and if he brings conditioning once again, and at this point, two weeks out, he looks like he's in great conditioning. In four weeks from now, at Texas Pro, he can be super ripped, but for Dubai Pro, he can be definitely in very good condition. With his face looking like this, with this vascularity and striations, we can't really see a lot, but what we can see actually looks very good. And look at his freaking shoulders, man, like, is this <laughs> real? Like, he got so freaking huge, so freaking 3D, he's so bubbly right now. There are some rumors, people are speculating that he might have put something into his limbs, like his arms and maybe shoulders, but I don't know if that's the case. I think he's just bubbly like that, naturally. I mean, not naturally, literally, but like, I don't think he put any oil anywhere. 
I think he just worked on his on his off season. He got bigger. He kept the roundness and the fullness, and he got very lean. Again, look at the face. This is not very common for Andrew Jack. He's rarely in like really good condition. He was in good condition at the Arnold Classic 2023, but that's about it. Everything else, he was like not 100%. And for this point in prep, if he's prepping for the Texas Pro. I think he's ahead of time, and I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm pretty sure he's a surprise entry at a Dubai Pro. Abdullah knows something. He probably won't tell us exactly where he heard it, how he knows it, but when there is smoke, there is fire. So I think in this case, it makes so much sense, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see Andrew Jack at a Dubai Pro, and if he does it, then he would have to be my favorite to win the show. I mean, I don't know, like, Nixilla is really good as well, but Andrew is proven. Nixilla, I don't know. Like, if he beats Andrew Jacked at a Dubai Pro, then I'm gonna have Nixilla in my top three at the Mr. Olympia, but that's not very, like, super likely to happen. But if it happens, it would be really awesome, a cool story, and it would be a big statement for Nixilla, but I don't know. Anyways, the battle between these two monsters would be so amazing, and there's actually a video on my channel, guys, in which I'm comparing Andrew Jack versus Nexilla, and if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and watch it before the actual show, but I think we're gonna see this comparison at a Dubai Pro in two weeks from now. What do you guys think? Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Hunter Labrada, and at this point, at eight weeks out, he's actually starting to look really good. In his previous physique update, he was so flat, and I don't know what was wrong, but he didn't look very impressive. However, at this point, at 8 weeks out, we are actually starting to see the progress that he made in this off-season. He actually looks really big, really full, really round, and the conditioning is coming along. Now, it's interesting that he says in the caption that he didn't change his food, actually his coach, Ben Chow, didn't change the food for him in the last uh, four weeks or so. So since 12 weeks out until now, he changed nothing food-wise. And how is that possible? How did he get so much harder, more conditioned, uh, fuller and everything? He just looks so much better. Well, obviously the gear is starting to kick in. They're letting the gear do the work and maybe they are manipulating the cardio, but as far as training, I'm pretty sure he was training super hard in the offseason as well. But yeah, he's definitely getting a lot harder. And I actually checked what he was eating at 12 weeks out. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in this, but basically he was on 450 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein and 45 grams of fats, if I calculated that correctly. But it is something like that, and I think that's a great thing. He's actually getting shredded while eating like a pretty decent amount of food. And his conditioning at 12 weeks out is actually looking very good. I wonder for how long will they be able to keep this amount of food before his body starts to stall. I wonder, but if he's eating this much at 8 weeks out, I think that's a great thing. He can probably eat a lot into the show and keep the fullness, keep the size. And it seems like he definitely gained some muscle in this past off season. He's doing two shows this year before the Mr. Olympia, a show in Italy and a show in the UK, and I'm pretty sure he's got both of those shows, I'm pretty sure he's winning them, I don't think there are any other heavy hitters doing those two shows, and Hunter is a top 6 Olympian, so he's gonna win one of those two shows at least, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be both, and he's gonna go to the Mr. Olympia, what will he do at the Mr. Olympia, that's a good question, it seems like people are dismissing Hunter for quite a few years now, and he actually keeps improving. I mean, I think he's definitely looking better this year than last year. And if he nails the peak, if he gets in condition, then, pff, I don't know, can he crack the top four again at the Mr. Olympia? Like in 2021? Do you guys think that's a possibility? Whatever you think, tell me down below. Alright, then finally we got a new physique update from Horse MD, and apparently he's bigger, heavier than ever in his offseason. So it seems like he's working on making improvements, but honestly, I don't really care how heavy he is, because the thing with Horse MD is not like just the overall size. I'm sure he can use some more size, of course, but really what he needs is improvements in certain places. And in his case, it's absolutely his back. And that's really it. Like, on the Romania Pro stage, he actually compared pretty well size-wise and also conditioning-wise against all those guys. And those guys are actually top guys, top 10 Olympians, or even top 3 Olympians like Samson Dauda. So he was hanging with those guys in terms of size and with conditioning on that size. 
The only issue that he had, and it was a big issue, was his back. Not his back lat spread, but his back double bicep. So I'm looking at his physique right here, and do I see improvements? Like, big-time improvements? I have to be honest, I, I don't. I mean, maybe he improved it slightly, but this back is still very, very weak. Not in the back lat spread. For some reason, I guess because of his weight in the shoulders, his back lat spread is actually looking amazing, but back double, no. His back is literally a square. Like, I don't see the lats popping out. I don't see a V-taper. He can manipulate posing, but, like, to what extent can he really improve the back with posing? He needs to get those lats to pop out somehow. I don't know if it is possible with his genetics. And I also know that it's gonna look better once he gets shredded. But, really... I don't think this back is going to be drastically improved. I guess maybe it's going to be a weakness of his for the rest of his career. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.